the Real Time Real Estate segment today. We brought to you by rsrmoney.com. RSRmoney.com. How much does it cost to sell my house? If you're trying, if you're toying with the idea of selling your house, you're probably wondering how much it will cost. To be honest, the final number will depend on several factors like the offer you accept, if you help with your buyer's closing costs, how many repairs you tackle, and more. So to give it to give you a ballpark of what to ex- expect. Here's some information on a few of the expenses you want to be ready for. If you're watching us on RonSegalRadio.tv, any of our socials are the ABC News and Talk, AM 1490, FM 98.1 video feeds. You are seeing a chart, typical costs of selling a home in the U.S. in 2024. Listing agent. Now, remember, these are all based on national numbers. We are in Southern California. Uh, Our numbers here right now are, are probably higher than these, but this gets to give you an idea. Listing agent commission, 11000 Buyer's agent commission, 10000 Repairs, 10000 Closing costs, 8000 Buyer concessions, got to understand those for sure, 7200 Moving costs, 3200 Marketing, 2300 Staging, 2300 hmm, Think about that. And you thought that it was just the agent made all that money. But here's something that puts those costs into perspective. Most homeowners today have a substantial amount of equity built up in their homes. And that means they stand to make significant gains when they sell. Chances are you do too. This can help quickly recoup these selling costs. You may even have enough equity left over to put some toward your next home purchase as well. Let's dive into a few of the costs from the graph so you'll have a bit more context on what they include and where you may be able to save money when it comes makes sense. Closing costs and commissions. These are the fees you'll pay at the closing table to cover various aspects of the sale. You'll have your own closing costs. You may even offer to pay some of the buyers as well. As a U.S. News Real Estate explains, quote, closing costs are fees that are paid to finalize the transaction and transfer ownership of the home to the buyer. Sellers can expect to pay 2 to 4% of the sales price of the home in fees and taxes on top of the agent commission. Based on the national median home sale price, this means that closing costs in 2023 for sellers are ranging from $7,700 to $15,000, unquote. Taxes are going to vary by state and agent commissions depend on what you agree upon up front. Keep in mind that the numbers in the chart that we shared are just an example, not exact, not to mention if you put money toward things like property taxes, mortgage, escrow, there's a chance you'll get a credit back at closing. Remember, I tell you all the time, and, and so many people don't want to hear it, Commissions are a tool to help you sell your house for more money. It's not just the way that you're going to uh, uh, pay people. It's an incentive. And if you want to maximize your sales your sales price, well, it's simple. rsrlinks.com slash salesmax. rsrlinks.com slash salesmax. You can go to Walmart and you may or may not get a great uh, realtor. Or you can go to Nordstrom, and maybe you'll have a better one. Just throw that out there. Pre-listing inspections and repairs, one optional step some sellers take is having a pre-listing inspection. It gives you an idea of what may pop up later on the buyer's inspection because those items are items a buyer may ask you to toss in a credit or a concession to cover later on. This allows you to get, get a jump on any repairs and tackle them before you list. So your house is set up to impress from the start. again. If you want to skip this step, an agent can help. They'll be able to give you advice on things like paint colors, small cosmetic repairs, and what buyers are looking for and whether it's worth tackling anything else ahead of time. This will help make sure you're spending money on things that are most likely to net you a good return on your investment. Home staging. As inventory grows, you may want to take a few extra steps to make sure your house stands out. Staging is an optional way to make sure your house shows well. It can include bringing in rental furniture, if the house is vacant or art to warm up the walls, not pictures of your last trip to Hawaii. That doesn't help. Some staging can even be done virtually once the photos are taken. But in general, how much does it cost? According to Bankrate, quote, home sellers typically pay somewhere between $7,800, $2,800 in home staging costs, but the price tag can vary widely, unquote. If you want to skip this step, you could opt to lean on your agent's advice again. Why leaning on an agent is key if you're looking to cut down on your costs. You have options, but be careful of where you're trim. 
You may be able to skip staging or pre-listing inspection since those are optional, but you don't want to skimp and sell without a pro. An agent is your go-to expert throughout the transaction. They'll offer customized advice every step of the way, of the, including how to stage the house and what appears or re what repairs to tackle. This can help you avoid hiring an outside stager or having to pay for a pre-listing inspection. But that's not the only way your agent adds value. They'll also create tailored marketing and pricing strategies that will highlight the house, the best assets, and any work you did already. Hey, there's a really, really great new real estate firm coming at the end of this month to California. They've been in other states, and they're one of the fastest growing companies in the country. Amazing marketing materials. If you want more information on that, give me a call. Want a better picture of what you should expect your house to sell? Give me a call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. And if you want to know what the market looks like in your neighborhood, not the generic number, rsrlinks.com slash market report, rsrlinks.com slash market report. Our friends over at Altos Research tracks every home for sale every single week throughout the entire country. You just put in your city or zip code and you'll get all that information. That is the real-time real estate segment brought to you by rsrmoney.com, rsrmoney.com.